Hi everyone, I am Dr. G. Sinvas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dindigal, Hyderabad. In this present video, I would like to discuss the formation of partial differential equations and related problems. And the problems has been taken from the question bank designed by the IARE. And it is part A, first video. So, see the problems in the module 3. Form the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary function from f of x square minus y square x square minus z square is equal to 0. So, the partial differential equations can be, can be formed by eliminating the arbitrary constants and by eliminating the arbitrary functions. So, in this present problem, we have to eliminate the arbitrary function f and we are supposed to form the partial differential equation. So, here the given function f of x square minus y square comma x square minus z square is equal to 0. Our aim is to form the differential equation by eliminating f. So, for that I take let u is equal to x square minus y square and v is equal to x square minus z square. Then what is dou u by dou x? The partial derivative of u with respect to x. So, this is 2x only because the second term when you are differentiating partially with respect to x, this is y term, it will become 0. Similarly, dou u by dou y, the partial derivative of u with respect to y, when you are doing partial derivative with respect to y, x term is treat as constant, so it is 0 and it will be minus 2y. Similarly, dou v by dou x, the partial derivative of v with respect to x. So, here it is x term and it is also, z means it is a function of x and y. So, what we get is 2x minus z square derivative 2z with respect to x means you will get dou z by dou x also. That I can write 2x minus 2z into the dou z by dou x can be replaced by p. Similarly, dou v by dou y, the partial derivative of v with respect to y. So, the first term is pure function of x, it will be 0, but z is a function of x and y. So, we will get 2z into minus as it is, 2z into, we will get the term dou z by dou y also, because we are differentiating partially with respect to y. So, dou z by dou y can be written as q, so it is minus 2z q. So, we have calculated the dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. Now, the eliminant of function now, so the determinant of dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y is equal to 0. The eliminant of this one, that is determinant of, what is dou u by dou x? 2x and dou u by dou y. What is dou u by dou y? Minus 2y. Minus 2y. And what is dou v by dou x? 2x minus 2zp and dou v by dou y minus 2zq is equal to 0. So, on expanding the determinant, 2x minus 2zq minus of minus plus 2y into 2x minus 2zp is equal to 0. The cross product of this minus of this one. Or I can write 4 into minus xz 
Q here 4 plus xy second term 4 are taking outside here 4 is there that means minus yzp is equal to 0 yzp 4 on taking outside or uh, this I can write it as minus xzq plus xy minus yzp is equal to 0 or what I can write xy is equal to on writing the two terms on the right hand side z also can take an out and this is xq plus yp is the required partial differential equation xy is equal to z into xq plus yp this is the required partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function f so now in the solution in the formation of the differential equation there is no term f so it is eliminant of f and which is the required partial differential equation similarly do the second problem form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function from lx plus my plus nz is equal to phi of x square plus y square plus z square. So in this problem also we have to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function phi. So how to proceed? First consider the given relation. Differentiate partially with respect to x. We will get one equation. And differentiating partially with respect to y you will get another equation. From the relations you eliminate phi and form the differential equation. So now see the solution. Given lx plus my plus mz is equal to phi of x square plus y square plus z square. On differentiating partially with respect to x on differentiating equation 1 partially with respect to x what you will get m into x derivative 1 m constant y also constant it is 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x m into z derivative with respect to x dou z by dou x is equal to the right hand side so phi of function is phi, phi of x, y, z, the red derivative is phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square into x square derivative 2x, y square derivative 0, z square derivative 2z dou z by dou x, 2x plus 2z into dou z by dou x. Or what I can write L in L plus NP dou z by dou x means P is equal to phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square. So 2 also you can take outside x plus z into P. This is called equation number 2. So just I will explain once again L into 1 m is constant with respect to x we are differentiating partially y also treat as constant the derivative is 0 plus n into dou z by dou x is equal to phi dash of x square plus y square by z square so now on taking the differentiation partially with respect to x x square derivative 2x y square derivative will be 0 z square is 2z into dou z by dou x or L plus NP is equal to 2 common on taking outside phi dash of this one plus X plus into X plus Z into P where P is a dou Z by dou X. Similarly, on differentiating partially with respect to Y. So what you will get first term 0 plus M into 1 plus n into z derivative dou z by dou y is equal to 
phi dash of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So, when differentiating with respect to y, this term x squared term 0 plus y squared term derivative 2y and z squared what will get 2z into dou z by dou y because we are differentiating partially with respect to y and moreover z is a function of x and y. So, this I can write, this I can write m plus n into q, dou z by dou y means q, m plus n q, m plus n into dou z by dou y means q. So, m plus n q will get on the left hand side, right side is equal to phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square. Am I right? Again into 2y, 2y plus 2z into q. Or this I can write m plus n q is equal to 2 into phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square into y plus z q and call this is equation number 3. Now our aim is to eliminate phi from the relations 1, 2, 3. So you can easily eliminate phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square from equations 2 and 3 which can be divided now by doing by doing 2 by 3. 2 by 3, that is 2 by 3 implies, what will get 2 by 3? L plus NP by M plus NQ is equal to 2 into phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square plus x plus into x plus zp into x plus zp that will be in the numerator and in the denominator the right hand side term of equation 3 that is 2 into phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square into y plus z into q. So, 2 to cancel, this and this also gets cancelled. So, what you will get is L plus NP by M plus NQ is equal to X plus ZP by what is in the denominator? Y plus ZQ. So, finally on cross multiplying L plus NP into y plus zq is equal to x plus zq zp into m plus nq. So, which is the required partial differential equation and which is obtained by eliminating the arbitrary function phi from the given relation lx plus my plus mz is equal to phi of x square plus y square plus z square. So, the problem solver comes under partial differential equation formation by eliminating the arbitrary functions. So, in the first problem also, we have eliminated the function f. Now, see the problem number 3. Form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions from z is equal to f of x plus i y plus g of x plus i y. All the problems has been taken from our question bank. So, here also we are supposed to eliminate f from g and we are supposed to form the differential equation. And this can be done by making the differentiation partially with respect to x and y. So, we follow the same procedure. So, first write the given function given z is equal to f of x plus i y plus g of x plus i y. This is the given function, given relation in terms of the function small f and small g. 
and differentiating partially with respect to x. So what do we get? Dou z by dou x is equal to. So this function has to be differentiated with respect to x partially. What do we get? X f dash of x plus i y. So I'm doing differentiation partially with respect to x. We'll get one plus this is zero. I y will become zero because we are differentiating partially with respect to x. Similarly, the second term, g dash of x plus i y into x plus i y derivative that is only one because with respect to x we are doing y term will be zero. Or what we will get f dash of x plus i y plus f dash of g dash. Sorry, this is g dash of x plus i y is equal to p. And this is called equation number one. Similarly, differentiate partially with respect to y. So I'm differentiating. What do you get? Z is equal to function f of x plus i y plus g of x plus i y. So I'm differentiating partially. With respect to y, what will get? Do z by do y is equal to f dash of x plus i y into y. F dash of x plus i y into x plus i y derivative x one i into y derivative one x zero i into y derivative one. So this is i plus g dash of x plus i y into I and call this is I into f dash of x plus i y plus I into g dash of x plus i y and call this is equation number two or three. What is our assumption? The equation is one, so this is equation number two. Now we cannot eliminate f and g from the equations one and two. So we need another. We need another uh, equations. So that can be done by differentiating equation one with respect to x again. And differentiating again, again, differentiating partially. E differentiating equation one. Partially with respect to x. So what is that? Do z by do x derivative. Do square z by do x square is equal to what is that? F double dash of x plus i y into one as it is plus g dash of x plus i y. I'm differentiating again with respect to x. G double dash of x plus i y into one. Or this is do square z by do x square is equal to f double dash of x plus i y plus g double dash of x plus i y, and call this is equation number three. Similarly, on differentiating equation two, similarly on differentiating equation two partially. With respect to y, so I'm differentiating partially with respect to y. What will get? Do square z by do y square is equal to i into f dash of x plus i y will become f double dash of x plus i y. With respect to y means you'll get i also the coefficient. Similarly, the second term i into G double dash G dash x plus i y derivative, and again differentiating G double dash of x plus i y with respect to y means you get into i also. That is i into i i square, so minus one f double dash of x plus i y plus i into i again it is i square minus one, so G double dash of x plus i y. 
or it is minus f double dash of x plus i y plus minus g double dash of x plus i y this is dou square z by dou y square and what we call this is equation number 4. Now see from 4 and 3, now from 3 and 4, from 3 and 4 this is positive sign, this is negative sign. Now from 3 and 4, what is our conclusion? dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square is equal to this is f double dash of x plus i y plus g double dash of x plus i y plus that means minus f double dash of x plus i y minus g double dash of x plus i y. So clearly this and this will get cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square is equal to 0. So which is the element of all the functions f and g which is the required partial differential equation and this equation also can be written as r plus t is equal to 0 where r is dou square z by dou x square and t is dou square z by dou y square so r plus t is equal to 0 which is the required partial differential equation. So in this model, in this example also we have eliminated the functions by doing differentiation partially successively with respect to x and with respect to y. So we have solved the worked out examples, uh, the examples which are in the question bank and which are be useful for uh, preparing the mid examinations like that. And these uh, questions have been taken from the question bank of the course, differential equations and vector calculus, and the regulations are BT23 and which is published by IR. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.